Hi guys! The project that I'm going to work on and share with you today is I'm going to take this uh, just a classic red flannel that's a men's large from the Dollar Goodwill and I'm going to try to alter it to make it like a cute form-fitting like little dress nighty thing. My first step is to try the shirt on and get an idea of how it fits. The length is just about right. So that's a plus. Again, I don't know if I would ever wear this in public, but like just for like lounging around. Could be a thing. So basically all we have to do is take in some from the sides and the arms and then shorten the sleeves because I want to leave it with that kind of flannel button-down shirt feel just to make it fit a little bit better so it's more comfortable, easy to work in, that kind of thing. So with the shirt on, I just roughly pin the arms, the bust, and the waist. Then I take the shirt off and flip it inside out. And I'm moving my pins onto the inside, so now it's pinned from the inside instead of the outside. And I also want to make sure that everything is the same on both sides, so I don't have a super tight dress on one side and a super loose one on the other. So I measure the distance from the factory edge, and I make everything just about the same, roughly. And I double up here, I draw my chalk line and then I pin, just because I get a better idea with the chalk of how I want my line to curve, and then I pin along it. And one of my sides actually did end up being about an inch further in than the other, so I moved those pins out a little bit, kind of bridged that difference there and made it more even. Because this was just an experiment, I didn't want to go too strong either way. And then I put the shirt on to see how it was going to fit, make sure I didn't screw anything up too terribly. And then I remove my sleeve cuffs. And I just went ahead and put a pin up the slit of the sleeve so that I would sew that together so it would just be a regular sleeve. Now at my sewing machine, I'm just gonna sew along my pin lines, kind of in that hourglass shape, along the arm, up under my armpit, bust, waist, hip, etc., down to the hem. Now I'm doing a fitting again to make sure everything is like I thought it would be, make sure the sleeve lengths are correct before I sew those. It's not bad, so I'm going to finish my sleeves, I'm going to cut off on the inside the fabric that I just sewed that I no longer need, and just do some finishing so it should be good. The first thing I did to finish my sleeves was continue the line that I sewed earlier. You'll remember I didn't sew it all the way down to the end, so I'm just continuing right along that same seam line. And then because the sleeve cuffs had buttons, they are slit, so I'm just sewing up that slit, making it just a normal sleeve. And then I want to hem my sleeve, so I'm folding over about half an inch and then I'm going to sew along that hem as well.
here's my sleeve hem. I could have done this with a double hem. I had enough length on my sleeves, but I think it's fine with just one single seam. I like the sleeves a little long. Now all this left is I just have to trim off the extra fabric on the outside of my seams that I just sewed and we're ready to go. Now go steal some of your man's shirts. <laughs> 